All righty. Good morning. Sub two, we're, we're live from Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Uh, good to see you guys here this morning. Uh, we're here with Kevin Carroll from REI Black Book. Uh, and we're going to talk about generating leads from, from cold leads this morning. So I know a lot of you guys are talking to people uh, that aren't ready to deal with you, or maybe they think they can get a little bit more for their house, or especially in this market. Gosh, man, this is surely, this is probably, I've been doing this 22 years. It's probably the worst market for buying that I've ever seen. Um, and uh, gosh, hopefully that'll change soon, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so guys, I want to remind you again, Sub2 Palooza, that's our uh, event that we're having uh, this fall in New Orleans. I want to remind you guys, get over there and get your tickets. We're down to less than 10 rooms in our room block, and you want to be able to stay at the Hyatt. Uh, we're going to have some stuff going on there, and uh, you're going to want to be there for that. So if you like what we're talking about today, uh, give us some likes, some thumbs up, some hearts, whatever new emojis they got on there now. Uh, but uh, Kevin, hey, welcome to Go Talk this morning. Glad to have you. Thank you, William. I appreciate the opportunity. Always good to catch up with you, my friend. Yeah, good to have you guys here. We started using REI Black Book a little bit over a year ago, and uh, most of you guys know me. I've been doing this for 22 years, and I follow up system for years. It was a legal <laughs> pad. Gosh, how many? I wonder how many sellers I've talked to over the years that I never talked to again, and mm -hmm. uh, as a result, <laughs> I've never had an opportunity to convert any of them. But Kevin and I are going to talk about uh, their system of follow-up. He calls it 15 by 3. Uh, he's going to explain what that is and then give you guys some previews later. We're not going to tell you what they are now because we want you to hang out with us for a little while. So right. you stay with us and, and we'll talk about it. So Kevin, tell us tell us about the system, how it works. And yeah. It works. Hey, hi. thanks again. I appreciate it. So Aria Black Book, um, if you don't know, we've been around for about 12 years now. It's Damon Remy's the CEO, and um, you know we've been doing this for a long time, working with thousands of investors across the country, right? So over the last 12 years, we've kind of had that sneak peek under the hood, if you will, of, you know, we look at some investors and they're, they're really successful and doing good, great things, while other ones seem to struggle. And, and what it kind of comes down to, what we've determined is that top reason most of them are struggling or, or not doing this level of deals that they've wanted is because of the follow-up systems. And there's a bunch of different reasons why they don't have follow-up systems. And, um, you know, it's, it's not as easy as just saying, yes, let's go follow up. So what we've really been working on the last couple of years is how can we create a push button, really simple way for our investors to systematically follow up with every single lead, right? From the point that they come into our business, they respond to our marketing, all the way through to maybe somebody we haven't spoken to in nine or 10 months, how can we systematize and make sure that every lead is followed up with? And um, once we can implement that, it's we've got a list of hundreds of investors that have built this out now, and the results have been very promising and exciting. So that's, that's basically the idea behind it. But, um, you know, I, I can go into some numbers here, William, as far as, you know, why follow up is, is important and, and all those different aspects here. But um, in the last year, I know you've went from a notepad to REI Black Book. Um, has there been any difference in, in your life, Richard, or, um, William, um, as far as getting that built out and going here? I, I'm sorry. I, we've got some no ones here in the lobby. I, I didn't hear you. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hey, hey, no, that's no that's problem. the problem with live somewhere that's that's public. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. No, what I'm saying, I, I know, uh, you know, when you and I first had that conversation about a year ago, you came in and I, I was showing you the websites and the phone numbers. Right. And, you know, there, there's a big, long conversation that we were having, right, about right. all this cool stuff. And right. the thing that you seem to be interested in was the follow up, right? So, right, that's over right. Time and hey, I remember you to holding up your notebook a year ago yep. saying, yep. this is my follow up system. Right. That's and right. that's why we've implemented this into your account now and why we're able to have the conversation today. But yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I, you know, I remember our conversation very well. And when you started showing me uh, how you integrate texting and email and the websites and everything else, um, 
I was like, man, I'm sold. I, I really don't need to hear anymore. I need to learn a lot more about it, but I don't need to hear anymore. I mean, we were able to to cancel uh, website subscriptions that were costing, you know, $60, $70 a month yep. and some other things because we could do everything from inside uh, your platform there. So, I mean, that was one thing that was really impressive about that. Sure, sure. And, and <clears throat> that's one of the, you know, we've, we've tried to help our investors avoid what we call multiple system chaos, right? So most of them are going out and getting a phone system here and a text platform and websites and CRM. And before you know it, you've got six or seven different platforms plugged in. Um, it's complex, it's expensive, and, and those are the reasons. But to take it one step further, what we've really, really focused on the last couple of years is, yep, we have it all in one spot for you. We don't need to integrate. It all communicates. But how can we make it even easier for somebody when they start with our black book, or maybe they've even been around for a while, but how do we implement a solid strategy to follow up with every single lead? And, and, um, you know, just to kind of go into some details here is most deals over almost half of all deals. I think it's 42%. I can share some stats with, with you, but uh, roughly 42% of all of our deals, those leads won't engage you know, truly trust us and start having those conversations as far as, yes, let's do a deal on this property until six months or more down the road. About 25% require, you know, 12 months or more of pretty consistent follow-up. Mm -hmm. And most investors were really focused on today's dollars, right? We're, we're trying to find that deal that we can close right today, leave path the resistance to a paycheck. But as we look at growing and scaling and, and truly making a business out of this, there's a, all those leads that aren't ready today. If we had a system to systematically nurture them and, and you know, be in a position to where when that time is right for them, that's where we see that exponential growth. Um, and the good news is we can automate all of that so that we still spend our time talking to the people ready to talk to today. So, um, but, you know, we've got tons of stories and uh, I think I, I, I think I covered the Marcy 52 week workflow with you uh, a year ago when we first kind of had that conversation and, mm -hmm. and that was somewhat the first step right we went through and heard this really awesome story from Marcy that she built out a 52 week follow up and triggered that on a bunch of her old quote dead leads right mm -hmm. and in less than a year I think it was 12 or 13 deals that she had closed on dead leads that she hadn't talked to in months and that really you know kind of kicked this into gear is why we created this 15 by 3 playbook um right. And I'll go into some details on the 15 by three. Mm -hmm. What that is, it's a fancy way of saying, we've got really the first 15 minutes of when a lead comes in. What happens in that first 15 minutes? Whether it's an inbound phone call, an inbound text message, somebody visiting a website and submitting their information, that first 15 minutes is critical. We wanna to try to get them on the phone. If we're unable to get them on the phone, well, the system will automatically capture their info, tag them, notify us of what's going on, and then triggers in a 15 day follow-up sequence. So the whole purpose, we've got to have that qualifying sales call. So 15 minutes, they come in. If we don't get them on the phone, the next 15 days, we're going to automatically hit them with text messages and ringless voicemails with consent, emails, all that stuff with the whole idea of, of getting them on the phone. You've been doing this for a long time. I know that I won't uh, ask you how long, William, but um, after those 15 days, we all know that a lot of leads still don't, we, we're unable to have that conversation. So after 15 days, we trigger a 15 month follow up. And, you know, so hitting them fast and often over 15 days, and then we slow it down to a drip campaign over those 15 months. But the, the best part about it is we've really. Hey, yeah, Kevin, I hate to interrupt you. No, but go ahead. We're having getting some messages from people. We can't find our live. You know, we were just talking this morning about Zoom and how huh. goofy they are. And it I don't know if we're even live or not. So let we're gonna guys, if we're live, I'm gonna apologize, but we're gonna stop the stream and we're gonna start it over again. Okay. Is that's okay with you? We're just having yeah. some technical difficulties yeah, absolutely. here. So yeah, let's go ahead. We're gonna stop this if we're if we're in here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try it again. So uh, we'll be back in just a second. Sure. Okay. We, we've been trying to find the stream and Richard Roof just messaged us and said people are wanting to know how to get in. So we're going to start this thing up 
again. Yeah, I'm looking, I see the comments here. You're right. Yeah, so so we're, but it said we were live. It was flashing and uh, so we're gonna try it again. We're gonna see what happens. Uh, I love software and technology. <laughs> you know, I, I'm telling you, man, it's, uh, let's see, in a group. Uh, it's funny, I, I think I've said Richard twice instead of William, and it's because Richard's texting me and messaging me as I'm talking. So I keep saying Richard, I apologize. Yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna see if this thing uh, lets us go this time. I don't know. We'll find out here in just well, I, a second. I, I do see on the top of the screen now, it says live in Facebook. It didn't say that earlier, so. Uh, mine did say live. Oh, really? Uh, it oh, did, it did, it absolutely did. So I, that's why I thought everything was okay, but maybe it's not. So we'll see, we'll see now, hey. All right, guys, maybe uh, maybe we're live this time. I don't know. Loving technology. I can't wait to switch over to uh, StreamYard, but we'll see what. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, you guys let me know if we're live now. Okay, there we are now. All right. So uh, we, we thought we were talking to you guys for the last 10 minutes. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, hey, Kevin, good to see you. Uh, Michael, Chris, listen, we've been talking away. Uh, for the last 10 minutes uh zoom said we were live and we were just yapping on listen okay we're gonna do it again uh guys welcome to goat talk we're coming to you live this morning from eau claire wisconsin the exciting city the big metropolis uh we're loving it uh but anyway see we're all warmed up now hey joni good to see you vincent good to see you on here we had some snafus this morning but we're ready to go so we get to talk about all the stuff we've already talked about again uh right. so anyway guys welcome glad we could finally get on here with you uh we're just going to cut to the chase i don't want to cheat kevin out of any time today we were in a great conversation about follow up uh kevin of course is with rei black book uh that's our uh follow-up system that we've used for over a year uh i converted my yellow pad uh, last year, and we've been using those guys. He's going to talk to you today about a follow-up system called 15 by 3. Gosh, I feel like we've already talked about this. Was yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, Lolita. Hey, Richard. Good to see you, Andre. Uh, yeah, man, we are sharp. Andre says, right. good looking gentleman. Looking good. <laughs> Absolutely. Man, we're great. Uh, but anyway, Kevin, to cut to the chase. We're not going to talk about any other stuff. Tell us again about the 15 by three and why it's such a great follow-up system and how it'll help you convert all those people that aren't ready to deal with you today. That's right. That's yeah, right. That's right. And as I mentioned earlier, I, I, <laughs> I, I remember that conversation a year ago, William, when you that's held right. up the notepad, we were, we were actually on a zoom call and I was showing you around Aria black book. And you said, this is my follow-up system. I was like, Oh, awesome. He's been doing this for a long time and I can actually help him in a big way right now. So, um, but what the 15 by three is, and, and I know we'll talk more about this uh, in detail, but in effect, it's a, a recent system that we just rolled out a handful of weeks ago. In effect, um, basically it's the first 15 minutes when a lead comes in, we've got a process that will automatically capture their contact info, route the calls, um, saves them in the CRM, and hopefully gets them on the phone in that first 15 minutes when they call. Or submit a website lead or text in and all that fun stuff. If for some reason we don't have that qualifying sales call right away, which happens all the time, it triggers a 15 day automated follow-up and we're hitting them basically high urgency, high frequency, with the whole idea to get them engaged and on that phone call. After 15 days, if we still don't make that connection, well, now we trigger our long-term nurture sequence and that goes on for 15 months. But um, in effect, we've been preaching this system and what to do for investors for, for many, many moons. And now we have a push button, easy way to say, here you go, step into it and start converting deals. And, and our, our feedback and testimonials over the last three weeks, it's been overwhelmingly positive and it, it's uh, reinvigorated us. So I'm, I'm happy to share this today and kind of talk through that, William. 
Yeah. Hey, hey, Mark. Yeah, finally. I know what you mean. Uh, William, good to see you today. Uh, listen, we got some amazing freebies for you. We're not going to tell you about them now. We're going to make you stay on the call with us for a little bit. So, <laughs> That's right. so, so, so you guys can talk to us. Listen, if you like what we're doing, what we're sharing, uh, give us a like, give us one of those heart buttons or one of the whatever the emojis that uh, Facebook has right now. If you have any questions about follow-up, drop those in the box so we can get those answered today for sure. But uh, uh, Kevin's brought some, some great stuff today. He's going to give you some scripts and some follow-up sequences that you can use, whether or not you use REI Blackbook. But hey, I'm going to recommend it. They're giving you a 14-day trial now. I don't even think you need a credit card to get the trial, do you? So we put a credit card in there just because most people need to get domains and some extra stuff on there. But right. uh, yeah, got you. a full 14-day free access. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to give you an easy button to have right. this system. So you've got two weeks to trigger, follow up with your with your leads. Right. And uh, the feedback we've received so far, it takes a matter of days and we've got leads calling back and responding back to these campaigns. Right. Uh, what's cool is part of those freebies, like you said, even if you don't have ARIA Black Book, you've got a different right. system. I'm gonna give all the templates, timing, scripts, so that way you can implement this proven process into your right. business. If you wanna try us out, I've got a free trial and we're going to give you uh, basically some bonuses to, to get those dead leads coming back here. But the, the stuff works and uh, happy to share this with you. Yeah. And, and I'll tell you this, guys, this was the thing that really impressed me when I had my initial conversation uh, with, uh, with Kevin over a year ago was all the things REI Black Book replaces from, I mean, unlimited webs. I mean, you think about it here and, I, and I'm not talking about any particular website company. But you've got a lot of people that sell investor websites. And I know when when I met uh, Jovi here, I mean, she had one and she was paying, what were you paying, 50, 60 bucks a month for one website. Yep. And with REI Blackbook, you get unlimited. I mean, uh, you know, you, you can have full-blown websites, you can have individual pages. So just that one thing covers a third of the cost of REI Blackbook, not to mention the texting and all the other things. If you're using different texting platforms and those types of things, so uh, all of the things you can eliminate, um, you know, will will go toward paying for the whole thing. Not to mention the follow-up system, which has the most value, as far as I'm concerned. Because think about it: if you're talking to, I, and I don't know what your numbers are, if you're talking to two or three or five or ten sellers a day, we know if you've been doing this for any length of time, especially in this market. 99 out of 100 aren't going to be open to doing something with you today. Right. But they might be in the future. You know, a couple of keys here that I'm reminded by some of the things you say. The follow up system, I heard Ron LeGrand say 20 years ago when I first got started if once they're on my radar, I'm going to contact them until they sell it, until they tell me to get lost, or until they <laughs> die. They're in the system, you know, yep. forever. And yep. you can literally do that with, with this program. And, and I mean, you just, it's just amazing. So uh, I know you also have some case studies. You were telling me about a case study this morning about a gentleman. And I know that's one of the, the things you're going to give everybody, yep. but yep. tell us just a little bit about that. How many deals this guy's locked up and how much profit he's made from. Yeah. So, so we did a case study. The gentleman's name is Brian Martinow and he's an investor out of Utah. So he's, he had been an RIA Black Book user for about a year. Um, he actually came to us for the same reasons you did. We, we call it multiple system chaos, William is what we call it. But he came because he's, you know, websites and CRM and text platform. He had six or seven different platforms that he was trying to plug in together. And it just created a lot of efficiencies and added cost. But uh, about a year, year and a half ago, he came to RIA Black Book. And uh, I'll fast forward to about four weeks ago. What Brian had done was he had a bunch of leads and he, you know, he had workflow, like our automated workflows. He had, so he did have some automated follow-up systems in place, but he didn't have, he had gaps in his sales bucket, if you will. So what we did is we had our team actually build it out and implement the system, the same system we have in your account now, William. But um, so we did that. And what he did is he triggered the follow-up campaign on um, basically all of his dead leads that he hadn't spoken to in months. In less than two weeks, he already had three deals 
locked up under contract on leads that he literally hadn't spoken to in many, many months. They were dead slash cold, nowhere on his radar, comes back to life. Um, one deal alone netted him $62,000 on an assignment fee, but he's, he's got three of them and the total profits just in that two week period on this follow-up campaign was over $85,000. So that's the case study that I will share with everybody. And it goes into a lot of details as you know, why he did it. Um, you know, he's actually measuring his conversion percentage, his acquisition team now like has KPIs associated with our 15 by three playbook. So I mean, the results were so significant for him that it's changed his acquisition process and how his team operates. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, really great stuff. And I'm going to give everybody the complete blueprint to build it in your own system or the easy button step into it. And then we're going to take care of you on that side here too. So, yeah, but. yeah, we were talking about that earlier this morning that uh, when we got involved, it was a little bit more difficult to get things set up. In fact, I think Josh did a uh, 14 day follow-up challenge with us. And it was yep. every day, uh, an hour or two teaching you how to do these things, but you guys have really kind of uh, distilled this down to a few videos that yeah. you, you're going to share and show uh, right. how to get things set up more quickly. <clears throat> Absolutely. So what we want to do is, is give all of our customers a very quick win, right? Mm -hmm. So as, as we're marketing and spending dollars and time and effort, the last thing we want to do is ask somebody, hey, spend three or four days building out a platform, work in this software, because you know we're real estate investors. We're, we don't need to be tech experts and all that. So that's been one of the challenges. It's, it's great to, to have everything in one platform and have all these capabilities to manage and bring efficiencies, but the, the on-ramp can be significant. So this has solved that problem in a big way. And now uh, to your point, we've got literally a 25 minute video that will say, here's five minutes on setting up your account. Here's five minutes on and downloading the campaigns. Here's how you import your list. Here's how you trigger it. Here's how you cash your check, right? So right. something right. along those lines. But yeah, it's it's, it's about 25 minutes uh, when before it would take days and days and days. And, right. and we the the text messages are written for you. Uh, they're they're personalized messages. So you know we we use merge fields. Mm -hmm. Not to get too complicated here, but right. uh, if if I sent out five messages, yours is going to be titled William. And it's going to have specific information based on your information. Well, Jody's is going to say Jody and so on and so forth. So it's, it, right. it really makes it personable and helps build that trust and rapport um, okay. in a systematic way. It's, 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 it's fantastic. Yeah. Hey, Tracy. Good to see you, Julie. Glad you could join us today. Yeah, Mark. 14-day free trial with an easy but. That's Mark, right. We know you like for everything to be easy. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, hey, Deshaun. Here for the jewels. Hey, Jeff, good to see you here. Uh, Mark says, the fortune's in the follow-up. 50 to 80% of my deals come three to six months after the first contact. That's right. Because, you know, the yep. truth of the matter is that probably 80 or 90% of us, and I know this because I've been a successful investor for a long time, and I still, uh, until, you know, REI Black Book, I mean, my follow-up was nothing, basically. I mean, you know, we were churning and burning. You have a phone conversation. If it doesn't look like it's going to work out, <laughs> chances are they never heard from me again. Yep. You know, and that's just yep. the way it worked for sure. Yep. yep. And, and that's the same story with Brian. I mean, he's been mm -hmm. investing for a long time, did, you know, does quite a few number of transactions each and every month. And, mm -hmm. and you know, it doesn't matter if you're a, a brand new investor who's needing a system. You know, some people are very scared to press go on that first marketing campaign, right? How am I going to answer all these calls? How am I going to save the information and, and basically handle the volume? It's a great problem to have, but it's intimidating. So yeah. this takes care of that for a brand new person. And it also improves people like William who want to just do better at following up. And it, it's, it's really made a huge difference in hundreds of businesses already since we've implemented this. Yeah. But. For sure. I mean, like I said, it's really, it comes down to the numbers. Hey, Ron, good to see you. Um, if, if you talk to 100 sellers this month and you, you buy one house, that means 99 said no. And if they just go into your system, you don't have to think about them anymore. Or yeah, Black Book or, or whatever service that you right. like is, is just contacting them every three or four days and, hey, just reaching out. How can I help? You know, if you don't want to sell, what, can I be a resource for you? Just let me know and I'll help you out. 
uh, and that goes a long way toward building. You know, whether they know you or not, just the fact they hear from you on a regular basis, just for some reason establishes some sort of trust. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. That's and your again, hanging out. The, the, the timing may not be right for nine or 12 months down the road, mm -hmm. but if they've seen that you've texted them and sent them an email, you know, slow drip campaigns over that time, when they're ready to have that conversation, they're going to reach out to you or respond to one of those messages. And, and that's, that's usually not the fun part for us anyway, right? Nobody likes to call a bunch of people and hope that something changed. And that's usually what gets pushed to the side because we want to work on the fun stuff, right? Um, so so we, we, right. we not only uh, make it easy to have those deals come in down the road, but we, we eliminate the stuff that nobody likes to do anyway. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people, yeah, you know, it, it gets to be a drag when you do a lot of calling and everything. And that's why, I, I don't know about you, I mean, I have slide dial on my phone because sometimes I just want to leave a message <laughs> and not necessarily talk to somebody. Yep. Yeah, burnout is real. Burnout is real for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Okay. Hey, guys, if y'all have any questions, uh, let us have those. Anything on follow-up or, or you know, the best way to follow up or what to say, you know, we can cover all that for you. Mark says, yep, timing is everything. That's 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 true right. in a lot of stuff. Um, so Kevin's got a number he's going to give you guys. We're going to we're gonna make y'all sweat yep. it out just a little bit longer. Uh, not yeah, quite but, yet. Well, there, somebody was throwing some stats out there earlier, right? That about half their deals take six months. Yeah, so, that's what so, that was Mark. Yeah, we, we've dug into this quite a bit ourselves, and and uh, the the basically the bread and butter here is on average from what we've learned over the last twelve years working with thousands of investors is about eighty percent of all of the deals that our investors are are getting requires more than five touch points with a lead. Most investors, I think it's, you know, 91% of investors that from our numbers give up before five touch points. Oh, so when you, when you flip those numbers together, 8% of, of investors out there are getting 81% of the deals. So when you look at that number and say, well, how can I be more like William and how can I grow and scale my business? It's like, all right, well, if you can put a simple process in to follow up, that is usually the biggest improvement opportunity as far as that growth and scale without adding a bunch of team members and everything else. But right. um, yeah, so that number that he threw out there, I, I think our numbers are 42% um, require six months or more to engage. So he mentioned half his, you know, 50% of his deal. So we're in alignment there. So his, his numbers are spot on. Right. 50 to 80% come three to six months after the first contact. What he yep. said. Uh, yeah. And he also, he and I is asking, he wants more case studies. Tell us, tell us more about the, uh, your, your people that you've got working. I know everybody, I think, well, maybe not, knows about Marcy. I mean, she was the right. first person I heard about. And she actually had a product uh, where she gave all of her templates and, yep. and everything else. So Yeah, uh, and that, that's really kind of, you know, that's kind of where we started from a formally rolling this out to to the public. We, we've been preaching the follow-up and, and, you know, Aria Black Book's workflow follow-up engine is mm -hmm. really, really powerful. But, you know, prior to Marcy, it was really up to each investor to say, okay, I want to send this text message and this automated email, this, this ringless voicemail and to go out there and build that out themselves. Well, you know, most people overthink it. It takes a lot of time to do. So a couple of years ago, we heard this really cool story about this, this investor named Marcy Martinez. And what she had done was built out a 52 week follow-up. So this was an automated follow-up series that sent text, ringless voicemails, emails and you know pretty much like every other week for a for a full year she built out that one workflow triggered it on her dead leads and ended up getting you know a couple handfuls of deals from leads that she hadn't spoken to in months and months and months so she was nice enough and shared her exact templates and how she mm -hmm. built it out and we actually did a course with marcy and she mm -hmm. taught other investors how to implement this and you know, she's out of her nine to five job. She's a full-time investor. And, um, you know, so we, and we've heard some really cool stories. I won't uh, publicly say what she's, she's done, but she shared some of her results just over within the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. and, um, it's, it's even growing and scaling beyond what she did a couple of years ago. Right. Um, but even at that point, William, as you know, I, I, I think I gave you that 52 week template last year when we talked. You did. Yeah, you absolutely did. You gave it, uh, yeah, to the, the folks in our coaching group, right? Yeah. But the, the challenge still was all right, well, now you still have to go in and spend hours to build this out 
and, and implement it, right? right? So what we've been working on as a company since then was how do we get our investors up to speed? They don't need to be software experts. So now we have this 15 by three system that, you know, somebody fills out a web form online. Well, that process, every time we're capturing our leads and we know that for the next 15 months, if I don't get them on the phone, we're following up with them consistently and so on. And it's, um, you know, so Brian, Mark, now when I do give our freebies away later, mm -hmm. uh, that, that case study will probably hit home with, with a lot right. of people that's joining us today. Right, right. And, and those freebies that you're giving away, I know you're giving away the case study. You're also giving away access to the videos to set yes. things up. Uh, yeah. You're also giving away the scripts, uh, yeah. the timing for them. I mean, everything, guys. Y'all are getting everything to get this thing set up. So there's no reason not to jump over there and try it for 14 days. Right. Uh, so and see what you think about it. Yeah, we're going to give you every text template, email template, absolutely everything that you would need to basically put this into your existing system, to your manual processes, whatever that case is. But to take it one step further to really exponentially make this easy, we're going to give you a 14 day free trial. You don't have to pay us anything. Right. You can spend 30 minutes, download these scripts, trigger it. And uh, within that 14 days, your phone will be ringing from leads that you probably haven't spoken to in months. And that's exactly right. what happened with Brian that, that we've right. the, wrote the case study about. It's right. Exactly. So, I mean, and, uh, yeah. yep. so whatever you got to lose with that and right. you know, you right. may, Pull some stuff out of there. Uh, Mark said, Marcy's story sounds great. Where can we mm -hmm. access the recording? It wasn't, uh, I don't know if, if Kevin's got a recording. What we were discussing was her uh, ebook, actually. It was a course that she wrote yeah. that they shared with us after the 14 day challenge. And yep. Uh, I mean, it was great. I mean, I, I know that this thing sold at one point. So I actually messaged them and say, hey, are you sure we can have this? And they said, yeah, it's actually in the coaching group, Mark. So you're in the group. So get over there in the file section. Uh, but yep. they provided that for us. Uh, yep. And said you guys can have it. So it's in there. Um, and, something you know, else. Oh, go, ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, Kevin. Well, I was going to say, so, you know, to kind of piggyback on the Marcy, you know, that was her first step. You know, and mm -hmm. I know we're here talking about the 15 by three, and it's really specific to actually following up with those leads and, you know, systematically capturing and, 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 and managing that relationship until the time's right. But Marcy today actually has a, a completely different system in place that she calls the six stages. So she's mm -hmm. automated, you know, it, the first step was the follow up and getting deals. But right. afterwards, when you grow and scale versus hiring other people to manage those processes, mm -hmm. she's automated most of those. So right. if she gets told no on a deal, right, that triggers a did not accept offer workflow that continues to hit them back, follows up weeks later and weeks later, you'd be shocked how many times no's turn into yeses if we continue to follow up. So it's not just right. on the front side. I mean, right. it's on the back end as well, but she's really systematized and allowed herself to grow without adding right. a bunch of team members. So, but which, that's probably another conversation. Yeah. Which reminds me again of another thing I heard Ron Legrand's eight years, it's all seller's motivation changes with time and circumstance, Yep. you know, and yep. how many times have you been to, I mean, think about this, now some of you guys just getting started don't get this, but if you've done it for 20 years, you, you've experienced a lot of this, somebody that's very adamant in their no at one point, but six months down the road or a year later, they're, they're calling you back and they're going, hey, this is Joe. You talked to me a few months ago, and but I, I'm kind of interested in what you were talking about then. Can you tell me more about it? I mean, I, I remember specifically, I went through stages as an investor when I got started. And when you get started, you don't know anything. That's what happens. But when you get started, you do what you've learned first. And I, I worked my way through Carlton Sheets, okay, <laughs> and then into Sandwich Lease Options, which I thought were the next great thing. So I did a few of those, and I pitched a Sandwich Lease Option to some people that had a house for sale that hadn't sold in several months. And they were like, oh, no, 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 we just want to sell it. And then several months later, they called me back, and during that several months, they had decided to rent it out because they had already moved. And they rented it out and they had a bad tenant and they put another one in and this was a bad tenant because they're not property managers. They don't know. Right. So the, I remember so clearly the guy called me saying, hey, you know, this is Joe. I talked to you a few months ago and you were talking about some lease option thing. 
I want to talk to you about that. We're interested now. And by then I'd moved on to subject two. I'd learned about that. And I said, oh no, we don't do those anymore, but I will take over the payments. And I wound up buying that house. It was really, awesome. it was really funny. Uh, but you know, but a follow-up campaign could have done all that for me. That guy just happened to call me back or I'd have never got that deal. You know, and ultimately we probably made 40 or $50,000 off that house. Yep. So yep. how many other ones did you miss out on because they didn't remember your number or whatever the case may be. Right. It, um, one of the worst feelings in the world is when you, yeah, I, I know your yellow notepad there, but whether it's a sticky note or a notepad and you find that thing saying, call John Doe back about this, yeah. this, and this. And you realize yeah. that was three weeks ago. And like, so first of all, you're like, oh man, I'm, you're embarrassed and you're intimidated to even call him back because mm -hmm. you missed the deadline. But you do call him back and up, oh, hey, he's already sold to somebody else or he's went in a different direction, et cetera. And um, th those are the conversations I personally remember. And it's like, okay, mm -hmm. I've been doing marketing and sales systems for the last right. 13 years. I've had a couple of those occasions pop up and I, I still remember those that happened 13 years ago, more, even more so than the deals that I've closed. Cause it's, you know, you learn from that and say, okay, my system has got to be better for this. Um, you're, you're absolutely right with that. And one other thing too, to, to kind of bring up here is when somebody calls you back, like Joe did called you back, you know, months later down the road and et cetera. One of the other cool things about RA at Black Book is if you did have a call and have a conversation with Joe six months ago, we have call recording as built in in our phone system. So mm -hmm. on top of the, the text platform and everything else, these calls can be recorded. So before you do call somebody back and you have that call, you can go back and listen to that prior conversation. You know, maybe it was his daughter's birthday. Maybe he was going on vacation for an anniversary or something like that. So when you want to talk about building trust and credibility with somebody, mm -hmm. if you can reference that and call back and say, Hey, right. you know, you, last time you were going to your daughter's birthday, she was turning 12 right. and like, you know, they might think it's weird at first, but it's like, it, it shows that they're important and that you're right. on top of your game and little things like that can really make a difference right. too as, as we move forward. Yeah. And they would never know then that you've talked to 500 sellers since you've <laughs> right. talked to them, That's you know, they think, Oh, wow. You know, this guy remembers me specifically. So yeah, for sure. Yep. Um, Absolutely. So another thing that I, I wanted to talk to you about, uh, Mark said, when I first started and was struggling, everything changed when I finally got it about following up. That's right. That's for sure. I'll, I'll tell you this. I was remember, remembering this when I was, we were talking about following up and finding a note. Remember, and I actually made this form at one time that was like a daily to-do list. And, and I thought I had it figured out for follow-up because if I talked to somebody I would just carry their name and number over to the next one, follow up with this person, whatever, whatever. But what happens is you get one of those sheets every day and pretty soon you've got all these people you're supposed to follow up with right. and you're overwhelmed and you go, oh, to heck with it. You just throw them all away because you know, I'm never going to catch up with all of these people. Uh, but if you just, if you have that conversation, you enter their information into a program that sets it already to follow up, then you can forget about them and think about something else <laughs> until they call you right right so and, and that's a big part of what the 15 by 3 does too so you know from an inbound phone call you may not even have their name or any of the information our black book saves that as a contact it tags them and identifies them so you know why they're in there to begin with and you know same thing from a text message and all these other things but the idea is to remove that manual process of typing in info because the more stuff that manually is required to get done, the less it actually gets done. Right. But if it can be automated, right. um, that's, that's the key uh, to, to all of this is trying to streamline those processes. Cause if you can automate it, then it happens every time. If right. it's manual, things are going to fall through the cracks. So, so another thing I wanted to ask you about today, Kevin, because this is a big deal right now. And I know Damon talks about it all the time too, is all of the changes that are, are coming with texting texting yes. compliance, ringless voicemails and all that stuff. But I know that he's talked and I can't keep up with all of it, but uh, that there was a ruling that REI Black Book isn't considered the same. So if you're relying on texting and all these other things, it's going to be, you don't have to, you won't have those issues with this product and tell us why that it'll be okay to text people. With this yeah. Product. So there was some confusion about basically what qualifies as an automated telephone dialing system, ATDS is what they call it, right? So there was a recent Supreme Court ruling that basically, it, you know, 
said platforms like ours is TCA, TCPA compliant. We basically aren't considered an automated dialer. So um, that definitely helped us out a little bit. We don't want, you know, cause, but our, our system is TCPA compliant, uh, it, you know, and that's, that's a, a, a big factor, right? So on, when somebody comes through one of our websites or sales pages, the disclosure is down there. Hey, you're opting in to receive text and, and pre-recorded messages and so on. If they text in a keyword, same thing, right? They're, they've opted right. into receiving that communication. But the, the whole idea is if we don't have permission to do that, well, we're putting ourselves at risk for fines and lawsuits and trouble. But the, the, the second part of that is um, on this 15 by three, that's actually a small little section of that 25 minute um, course that, uh, that, that I referenced earlier is, so if, if they come in and it's, it's TCPA compliance, et cetera, um, we do have safeguards built in there where it's not going to send out messages outside of, of the legal hours in order to do so. Um, and, and basically there's different ways that we've built in safeguards actually so much to the point that for the 15 day and 15 month follow-up sequences that we already have pre-built for you, we have one with ringless voicemails and one without uh, for each one of those because ringless voicemails are really in the crosshairs as far as right. TCPA compliance. So we're giving you the option to say, okay, hey, I don't have written consent for ringless voicemails. So you can elect to, to use the, the follow-up sequences without, but if they're opted right. in, ringless voicemails right. are, are great, they're legal, but we, we've been really on the forefront of this TCPA stuff to make sure that not only are we compliant as a provider, but we're, we, we want to make sure that we're not giving bad advice or putting our, our community at risk uh, for trouble down the road. So, All right. So, so, yeah, so this is a big part of the follow-up. So I know I appreciate the fact that you guys are making sure that, yep. uh, that we're not going to get sued. Uh, I, I did actually did a podcast with a guy. <laughs> yeah, you guys may have seen it, uh, Doc Compton. He runs a group on Facebook that sells a course that teaches people how to sue uh, robocall people and all of this stuff. And one of my joint venture partners, it, it was an interesting story. Uh, he does a little bit of everything. He's, a, he's into everything. And every time we'd get on a JV call, he would wave a new check at me for 5,000 or 10,000 or 15,000. He said, just got a payday today, William, uh, you know, went after car warranty, so-and-so and so-and-so, and they just settled. And this yep. was all about unsolicited calls or text yep. or, or anything else. And so he said, you should get this guy's course and read it. So I you know, bought it. I don't know what it was, 50 or 75 bucks and tried to get in the Facebook group. And he said, hey, this Doc Compton messaged me. He said, hey, I know who you are. You use texting. You can't be in my group. And I said, well, I bought your course. And that's part of it. He said, if you'll do a podcast with me, then I'll let you in the group. <laughs> it was really funny. That's uh, talking to this, but yeah, I mean, he makes a, 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 I mean, that's his business is going after people that yep. do that sort of thing. Yeah. And there's, you know, obviously that's, that's about an hour, hour and a half conversation to dig into all the TCPA changes. Right. Um, but one of the other parts of that with some of these new restrictions and, and we've act, we have several investors, part of our community. Um, you've probably seen a couple of them, but that we've shared the stories where they've, they, you know, been sued, yeah. settled out of court. We've heard stories where they didn't settle out of court. So some of these professional litigators are, you know, they're, this is how they make money. So yeah. in addition to the fines, you've got 18 months worth of legal fees and all this other stuff. It, it, it's a different game, but so right. it went from one year statute of limitations to now four years. So something mm -hmm. you did do today can come right. back and bite you four years from now. Um, but tying it back to REI Black Book, one of the other changes is if somebody says, take me off your list, do not call me again. Part of the new regulations is that we have to maintain our internal do not call list for five years now. So we can't just delete them. So if, if they, you know, if we were to get in trouble and need to provide that information, we've got to prove that, Hey, over the last five years, here's all the people who's opted out. Um, and maintain that list. So that's another really cool advantage of, of having, you know, ARIA Black Book or even a similar system if you've already, you know, have something else in place, but you have to maintain that list. 
in addition to doing all your follow-ups here. So right. there's a lot of moving parts with it, yes. Oh, for sure. Hey, Mark says uh, TCPA compliant is a big deal. This is important and valuable. Ron says, great content. Uh, William said, I'm currently paying off an attorney for RVM I left $7,000 over seven months. Yep. It was either that or the threat of a class action suit. And what you're talking about with the change of a law from one year to four years or one year to five years is you got those attorneys that are going, hey, this is a new market that I can go after. And then you start yep. seeing the TV ads and the billboards. Have you received a ringless yep. voicemail? <laughs> Have you received an unsolicited text call? Do we cheat them and how? Right. And we'll take care of it for you. Yep. So, yeah. yeah. It, it, the, the thing is, is, you know, the TCP has been around since 91. And, right. and I know we're not here to talk about this, but the, the rules have been in place for a long time. You know, how long they have to come after us and fines and everything else, like that kind of stuff has changed. Right. But what's really allowed the number of lawsuits and, and attention on this is the technology now to track who sent the ringless voicemail, who's, who you know violated the, the regulation, et cetera. Now right. the technology to say, okay, yep, it was William who did this and sent this and now I can chase you. Yeah. A couple of years ago, you could do it and hide, and they'd never find you. So that that's the that's the difference of today. So they're they're going to be more common here, that's for sure. For sure, I I remember years ago when you know the the big controversy over bandit signs, and then you'd have some of these um, teachers that would tell you to get a burner phone for your bandit signs. It really is that how you want to operate your business? Right, right. You want to be compliant with the law. Now you can take the approach of Gene Hackman in the firm, you know, when, when Tom Cruise asked him, just how many laws do you want me to break? And he mm -hmm. said, I want you to break any, but I want you to bend them until right before they break. And that's okay. <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. You know, you can do that. But I mean, yep. a burner phone for a bandit sign, because if somebody calls you, hey, I'm calling about your sign. Okay. Uh, you know, who is this? And you're like, well, I don't know, you know, Oh, tell me about your, you, know, you won't, you can't even tell them who you are and you don't right. want to operate like that. Right. So. And, and sure. you know, so absolutely right. So that's, that's a big part of the 15 by three is, right. is pre pre-built file systems is when they come in, you know, we track they're opted in. Um, right. Our system has those safeguards built into it. Now it's, it's just like, you know, gun ownership. I'll use that as an example, but you can legally acquire a gun and you can use it illegally. Right. So, right. so, you know, we, but we do as much as we can inside the platform to, to make sure that we're all staying compliant as investors right. and, and giving you the tracking mechanisms to make sure that, Hey, right. they are opted in and, and so on. But sure. um, yeah. Okay. So I think we've made everybody wait long enough. So that's right. Go ahead and, and tell everybody how they can, how they can, uh, get to access yep. to all this free stuff that you're going to so give them. I'm, yeah. In order to get your templates, view the case study, um, as well as access to the free trial, if you pull out your phones, and again, uh, this will opt you into my system for the record. So, uh, but I've created a, a text keyword. So if you want to text sub two, just the word sub two. The number two. Yep. To 850-900-3300. Again, that phone number is 850 850- 900 3366 and just text sub two all one word together and that will send you back a link to the case study where you can download all the templates scripts the exact follow-up system that we have created for you and then after you take a look at that case study we're going to text you back about a minute afterwards and there'll be a link i promised everybody a 14-day free trial with an easy button to hop in there have these scripts uh, put into your account, Act. look at the 25-minute uh, step-by-step instructions on how to do this. And there's one thing that I ask in return is as your phone rings from these dead leads coming back in, you have to tell William and I, you have to share those success stories because right. uh, we, we want to hear that. That's what drives us. And we want to make sure uh, we're making an impact that, that we know we're making here. So again, 850-900-3366. Text word sub two, and you'll have everything on there. That's great. Okay. So I mean, that'll be everything that they need. If they, they pick up their free 14 day trial, uh, get all this stuff from you, they can go in and in a matter of yep. an hour or so, 
have yep. all their sequences ready, plug all their old leads in, or anybody right. they talk to now that's not ready, and they'll automatically start getting followed. That's right. As, as part of that 14 day free trial. So, you know, we're going to give you, you get 10 websites included and landing mm -hmm. pages, 10 phone numbers. You don't have to pay for anything. Hop in there for 14 days, give it a shot. We're going to walk you through. Here's how you get your phone number to trigger that. You can port numbers in uh, really simple to do, but, but the whole idea is within those 14 days before we even ask for you to pay any type of subscription, your phone will be ringing and we will justify this and give you the easy button. So Sub two, Tammy. Tammy asked sub two or sub spelling it out. T O is sub two. S U B the number two. I've got hey, it to to do all of them. Sub two, sub two spelled out. T O all of it. It, it. it all works. So sub two. That's ours. The number two. Okay. The number two. Yep. The number two. Yep. Rudy, get on there and check it out. Uh, right. Gosh, you use our link. You, you know, licensing fee, none of that stuff. And right. uh, I'll tell you, you're uh, you're actually uh, being in the coaching group. Um, uh, we've got some added benefits, and I, I don't guess you mind me me telling people about them. The people in the nope. coaching group, uh, uh, Kevin actually gives uh, four of the accelerator programs to our coaching group people. So they just need to message you and let you know that they're a coaching student. Yep. Uh, and you'll yes. plug those into their accounts. Yeah, you can text me on that number I just gave, and I mm -hmm. will make yeah. sure that we follow up with each one and uh, you've got everything that you need for sure. Those accelerators, man, they're, they're excellent training programs. I think we chose four that are, are some of the best mm -hmm. uh, too. And I remember when, when we got that set up, because my coaching people, they know I'm always trying to get them a heck of a deal on stuff. Um, <laughs> I remember uh, we said, okay, can you give us some of the accelerators? Can you do this? Can you do that? And Kevin's like, man, we've never given people all this stuff before. So. Yeah, yeah. It, you, you twist pretty good there, William. I, I, I will give you that. I will I, give you that. I, listen, I, I, I try to get my people taken care of. Uh, let's see, yeah. Randy said, what about sellers you can't seem to get on the phone? I, I'm telling you, uh, yeah, that's a big problem. Will this work for those as well? Well, they're still getting the text and the emails. Yep. From you, yep. whether they choose to answer or not. Yeah. And, and at the end of the day, the whole purpose of this system is to get them on the phone so you can have the qualifying sales call. So right. no matter, you know, if they, when they came in, whatever, like all the text, all the emails, everything that we've got pre-created for you, the whole idea is to get them on the phone. Like the first 15 days, the 15 month automation, all of that, the, the, the call to action is, when are you available? Can we have this conversation? Because right. you've got to be able to have that conversation if you're going to yeah. close the deal, right? Um, and sure. yeah, so so it's a great question. This is exactly built with that goal in mind. So I'm sure there's some some nuances in the the message that you send that encourages them to call you. Yeah, and 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 so there's some thought into that in the messages that you guys have. I'm yep. sure these are tested and proven. And, and, and yeah, the, I know in Marcy's case, I mean, she provided the ones that she was using. So they yeah, obviously I mean, worked for her. Yeah. And there's a common theme. So when Marcy first rolled out her 52 weeks and she shared that with us, she mm -hmm. mentioned that she would purposely misspell a couple of words and, and right. really make it feel realistic, right? You don't want to come right. across as an automated message coming back and it's very unpersonable. Right. So part of that case study, Brian mentions the fact that how personalized and, and friendly and conversational the messages are. Right. And our marketing team put a lot of time and thought into that. And, you know, how, again, like what would we respond to as consumers? What would right. encourage us to pick up the phone and engage with William, for example? Mm -hmm. And that's how we structured all of that. But um, there's one message in particular that says it's scheduled. And we say, all right, this message here is going to go out at 1045 AM. Um, mm -hmm. And it just says, I wanted to catch you prior to lunch. I'm hoping that you have time to get on the phone. And right. so, I mean, you know, it, that doesn't sound like an automated message, right? That seems right. like somebody tested right. it, but it is automated. But right. that, that, that whole goal is in mind, William, for sure. Well, I think, I think we forget sometimes because we, some of us, and some of us don't, obviously, some are better than others, for sure. We understand the tools that are available in the automation. And a lot of people don't. They think if they get a text, somebody did this, Yep. on a phone and send a text. Yep. They don't understand all the things that are available uh, to, to produce these kind of things. I know what you're talking about, about the messages though. You know, I've said for years, uh, your, your, your approach with people shouldn't be so stiff and formal. 
I don't do it because that's just not my way. Maybe I'm not smart enough to be that way. You know, people think, you know, well, they're talking to me. I'm obviously from the South, if you couldn't tell, <laughs> you know, uh, and, and, and my approach is just, you know, hey, listen, I'm just a guy trying to buy a house. Right. You know, I'm, I'm not with a big corporation. Some people want to seem big and fancy, but they either think that I'm too, I don't know, redneck or too slow to try to, you know, I can't take advantage of them because I'm not smart enough, you know, to do anything <laughs> like that. So maybe I've got to be in that way. I don't know. But yeah, it's, I think it's important to just try to relate to people as just another person. Right. Yeah. I, I, again, as a sales person at heart here, there's two things that always come to mind when you think of, of sales and marketing, right? One is people do business with people. You've got to be relatable and you got to be trustable and have credibility with that person. Right. Number two, the money's in the follow-up. So this whole system is built with those two goals in mind. People do business with people and you have to follow up. But yeah, that case study goes into a lot of that detail. Um, and the, the other part of it too is with that idea in mind, this still needs to be your system you need to be comfortable. So we've, we've written each one of these messages and emails and everything with that goal of being personable in mind. But if that's not entirely you and you wanted to change one of the sentences here and everything else, you can hop in and change a text message in a matter of 30 seconds to put your spin on it or if you want to change that around. So it's really easy to do. You don't need to do that. But if you're you know, really particular and have a, a, a very specific thing that you want to put in, it's, it's really, really easy to do. So yeah, that's that's super important to make it fit your personality yes. um, and everything. That's for sure. I, I'll tell you, Randy, as sort of a follow up to your question. I'll tell you, some of these people won't answer the phone. That's just the way it works. It's, you know, I tell people about the story. It was just a few weeks ago. Uh, we were targeting, we were calling foreclosures, people that we'd skipped traced and we were calling. And uh, this one guy, he had changed his, his answering, uh, his, his message. His message actually said, hey, you've reached Bob. Uh, if you're calling about money that I owe you, uh, you know, leave your information. I'll call you back. I mean, he, he really, he changed. I mean, it was to the creditors because <laughs> people that aren't paying for their house, they're not paying for other stuff too. <laughs> right. That's just right. the way it is. Right. The house is probably the last thing that doesn't get paid for. So yeah, yep. it just happens. And, and these people, you're going to have to communicate with them either through voicemail or text or something, because they're just going to screen all their calls. Yep. They're, yep. They're sure. You need to have some compelling messages. Uh, to get them to call you. So tell everybody again, Kevin, the number uh, that they need to call to get this uh, freebie stuff. And yep. So the up. number is 850-900-3366. Again, one more time, 850-900-3366. And if you text the word sub two, so all together, S-U-B, yep. the number two, sub two. Yep. And that will send you back that link automatically. And uh, you'll have access to everything. You can download the scripts and templates and everything. And then if you want the easy button, the link for the 14 day free trial, uh, we're going to give you the 25 minute walkthrough on how to have everything in place. And before we even ask you to pay that subscription in 14 days, your phone will be ringing if you have existing leads. So, okay. And you're going to come in and, and let us know uh, about your past leads that are calling us. Uh, yep. Uh, we're going we're gonna to share that with the group uh, a little bit. We, we want to encourage others to hop into this. Yep. Uh, the, the system works. And again, that is the biggest area of opportunity for, for most investors is mm -hmm. automating that follow-up and put yourself in a position to talk right. to the people who are ready to talk, whether it's today right. or a year from now. So right. that's, that's the so, whole So get, get signed up for the free trial. I'll put the link in here. We'll put it in again. Uh, get signed up for the free trial, text sub two to 850-900-3366. We plug that number in too. Uh, get your scripts, get your case studies, get everything plugged in and set up and join uh, the REI Black Book Connect Facebook group. Uh, yes. There's a lot of tips or people over there talking all the time about how to do things better, what's effective, what's working. Uh, get over there and join that group as well. And that'll help you get things going. So. That's right. We appreciate you guys being here today. Hey, listen, sorry about the snafu this morning. That's just technology. That's the way it works. Uh, hey, if you haven't got your tickets for Sub 2 Palooza, 
We're under 10 rooms available at the Hyatt. Get over there, get signed up, get your tickets. We're in regular bird pricing right now. They will go up again. Uh, so get your tickets, meet us down there. We're gonna have over a dozen speakers, uh, trainers, no new rooms, and uh, it's gonna be people who've been around for a long time. Yeah, William, sorry, I know you're gonna be there. Excited to meet you. You too, Vincent, good to see you. Uh, we're going to have a great time in New Orleans in the French Quarter. Uh, if you're a sub two uh, coaching student, we're going to take you out uh, for a three hour riverboat cruise and dinner and a jazz band. We're going to trap all of our speakers and our sponsors and, and everything on there. And, and uh, we rented a whole deck of one of the, the boats. So we're going to trap everybody there so you can hound them for three hours and question. <laughs> Thanks again, Kevin, for being here. We appreciate all the information. Always a pleasure, William. Always, Always. a pleasure. Good to talk to you. You have all a right, safe drive, sir. Yep. You guys have a great day. Talk to some sellers. Buy some houses. See you next time.